Welcome everybody to today's community meeting. Um, we've got a, a short agenda today, so uh, probably won't take too long. Um, as always, uh, if you'd like to, feel free to sign in. Um, and as well, if you have anything that you would like to chat about, um, feel free to add it to the agenda. Um, let's jump right in. Um, for Recore Full CO and Cosine updates, um, I wanted to highlight one upcoming feature in Fulcio. Um, if one thing to note is that we, uh, when you go to onboard new CI providers, um, currently you have to do a lot of code configuration changes. So if you're GitHub or GitLab or some CI provider uh, that supports OpenID Connect and want to issue um, six star tokens, uh, sorry, issue six star certificates for these um, OpenID Connect tokens, um, you have to make a lot of code changes. Uh, this feature is going to make everything configuration driven instead so that in the configuration we will have a mapping between the claims and the tokens um, and the uh, extensions where they will be set. So this should hopefully make onboarding a lot simpler. Um, and we actually were having a, a conversation this week where somebody requested a, a feature to add um, a new provider for uh, something like a service account. And this actually got me thinking, well, maybe there's also an opportunity like what we did with the CI providers where we abstracted everything into a generic representation of uh, CI provider and build provenance um, to also represent something like a service account um, and follow this same pattern where we make everything configuration driven. So I think there's some interesting opportunities there. Um, so uh, more to follow. Um, jumping into the clients, I don't know if we have anyone else from the client side here. So um, I'll call out, uh, we mentioned this last week, but uh, for Six Star Go, we just released a um, new beta uh, update, 0 0.4, um, which added support for signing also. If you are integrating with uh, Six Star uh, and you're working in the Go ecosystem and you don't need container signing, um, I would very much take a look at this. Um, we'd like to encourage this over integrating directly with Cosign going forward. Um, and long term, we'll also be integrating this into Cosign. Um, and Cosign will be more focused on uh, container signing um, rather than uh, kind of the, the Swiss Army knife that it is now. Um, in terms of the API, the, the CLI interface will still provide a lot of the functionality as well. Um, I don't believe we have any updates for infrastructure. So Tracy, I'll hand it over to you. Do you want to give a doc update? Yeah, hi everybody. Um, yeah, folks may or may not be aware there's been a lot of uh, activity happen on the Sixto architecture docs. And um, I think the time is right to take these from the Google docs. Uh, so you'll see there's a landing page which links to uh, a lot of different docs that have had uh, a bunch of work done on them. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to take a first stab at migrating these into the architecture docs repo which currently just uh, it, it points to the the google docs um, the idea there is and just to start using github to um, track conversations and any changes and um i had one other thing no i've forgotten oh yeah i was going to just um well actually this is more of a question maybe for you hayden so I see the docs repo was forked off a repo that's sort of intended to help with the IETF format. Is, is that correct? Yeah. Um, this is a part of maybe like an original motivation that like maybe yeah. these could be written in kind of an IETF standard format. Um, I don't really think that's that's our current motivation with these docs. I would rather just see them surface as is. If we want to completely change the repository structure, that would be uh, that would be a very acceptable. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because I, I was just looking at the originating repo just to understand that. But yeah, I I can take a look and if there's anything we can do as well to keep it so it's they're easy to to switch into the required format. That's fine. But yeah, I think the main motivation is to to get it into GitHub for easier access and uh, tracking. That would be great. Um, I'll also mention um, to anyone watching this as well, if you'd like to get more involved with uh, 
um, helping write the architecture docs, uh, we very much encourage it. We have primarily four docs right now, one uh, which is the client signing a verification workflow, um, which we know has been used to help write SIGs or Go, so it's uh, some have been tested. Um, we have another doc for Folsio, for Recore, and then one for the public good infrastructure. Um, so if you are familiar with any of those, or if you're interested in, in becoming a bit more familiar and getting involved in some of the reviews, um, once it's on GitHub, uh, come take a look. Great. Um, yeah, so what I'll propose is um, as I prep the PRs, I'll, I'll bring them to the community meeting just to highlight them, give some folks some time to add any feedback, comments, uh, and then, yep, just kind of work our way through them. And depending on the feedback, it might be quick or slow, but let's see how it goes. Awesome. Thanks for, uh, thanks for pushing that along. Great. Um, were there any other project updates anyone wanted to give? All right. Um, in terms of outreach and events, um, one thing to highlight is Cloud Native Security Con in Seattle is this week. Um, I know at least one six-star talk will be given by uh, two of the members of the TSC, Luke and Bob, which will be talking about, uh, I believe it's uh, past, present, and future of SIGStore, so a bit about its history and um, some of the direction where we want to go. Um, I believe there's also some talks from related community projects around um, Salsa as well, though it's been a little bit different with the agenda. Um, if you are there, uh, or if you know anyone who is, feel free to come say hi, I'll, I'll be there. Uh, wish I could be there, but yeah, have fun. Hopefully we can find another opportunity uh, later in the year as well. Um, there are, there are many, many upcoming uh, events. All right. Um, well, uh, for our last part, um, we leave this open-ended. Um, if there's anything anyone wants to discuss, uh, feel free to. As well, if you're new to the community, um, this is our opportunity where if you want to say hi, um, feel free to speak up, though no pressure if you don't want to. Yeah, so. I will speak. <laughs> so um, yeah, my name is uh, Nina. I'm um, uh, two years in Red Hat now and joined two days ago with the Trusted Artifact Signer team. So yeah, I, I plan to to come here more often and um, learn more about the project and hopefully contribute in the future. So yeah. Awesome. Um, welcome, Nina. Uh, do you do you happen to work with um, Lily? Uh, let me know. I don't know her. Okay. Maybe Sally? I think Sally or maybe yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. I know. Um, I most certainly know Sally. Yeah, so Sally and Lily both um, are uh, folks from Red Hat, and um, they both help out with uh, the on-call rotation as well. So awesome. Well, welcome. All righty. Um, well, a uh, short meeting today. Um, as always, hope everybody has a great couple of weeks. Um, we'll meet again in two weeks. See everyone around. Thanks. Bye.